welcome back welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are feeling fine today we have a special guest ta, 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 ta. dharma meet dharma everyone normally i have her out of here because she likes to climb all over me like she she don't she she really does not care she will climb 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 she doesn't care what i'm doing but she looks real peaceful right now she looks like she's just gonna sit through this reading so let's try it out shall we all right so how have you guys been doing i hope you've been doing good it's a lot going on per usual Ever since this whole virusy thing, <laughs> it's just like a consistent blah. All right, so what card? I did a reading, and it's posting right now. It says the title was separate from um, the main point of the uh, video and it's just a lot of healing going on right now and the divine wants you just to feel how you're feeling so you can come to terms like real true terms and feel your feelings and like once and for all heal certain aspects of yourself that really are like looking needing to be healed because healing is a constant thing you know and some things take a little more time to heal than others. Some situations, some um, events that occurred in your life, right? So I'm waiting for that video to upload. Um, I did it yesterday, but once again, for whatever reason, it takes forever for my videos to load. And then they all look, they all end up looking like they were all done at the same time. But the video that I did, one in particular, that says, uh, please look, uh, go look at that one. The main title is saying, your task for this week is to feel the feels. And then I have another one I did the day before that, um, that talks about, you know, the star seeds. Okay. So make sure primarily you check those two out because the uh, one that says allow yourself to feel the feels i posted that one yesterday on the full moon in leo okay so spe specifically check that one out okay specifically now let's get on to this reading shall we okay mm k mm k two mm how do you how do you spell mm k dharma is it three m's and a k or is it three M's and a K A Y? M K M K. Oh, do we just make up our own? What do we do? I don't know. Since since it's calling for healing this week, I'm I'm being um asked to pull out the Hear Yourself Oracle deck uh, so we can see what aspects are needed to be healed. Okay, Dharma. Okay. Okay. Dharma said okay. If Dharma said okay, it's a it's okay. Let's see here. This book seems kinda heavy. Okay, Dharma. Okay. I heard you. I heard you Dom Dharma. I heard you loud and clear. You said it's okay. Well it's okay then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have? Okay. We have soulmate that just made his grand appearance. Okay.
Holy Spirit, what other messages do you have for my character? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my character? Oh my god, I hate when these cards do that. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my character? Because it makes it kind of weird to shuffle. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for my character? Okay, we got help from above. Okay. Can already see that um this is gonna be a love reading. Soulmate popped out, so I mean hey, it's clear as day. And then we have dreams. Okay. Some of you are, are seeking, um, some of you are feeling lost in your uh, twin flame soulmate connections and you're not knowing what to do. And the divine is saying that with some of you, some of your answers are in your dreams. Some of the answers you seek are in your dreams. And some of the answers, because that still is help from above, um, you know, receiving information in your dreams and some of your answers are just going to come you know from the divine rather that be through prayer meditation synchronicities people things people say things around you things like that and then i have this letting go card at the bottom some of you may be thinking about walking away from this connection okay or have thought about it or just kind of like giving up, like I'm tired of this. And I believe that's the way, that's why it's at the bottom. And all these cards are in the forefront. Because that's the divine's way of saying, hey, not so fast. Give it a minute. Give it a second. Allow me to come in and give you some answers. Allow me to heal the situation. Allow me to work my magic before you think about walking away okay so let's see what's the situation with this let's see what like sparked this situation uh i already know it's a love ring so i will be pulling out my romance angels oracle deck and possibly my lover's oracle deck and my love oracle cards because i can already see you know, there's a situation here in, in regards to love, okay? Um, I want to pull one from here and here. So, if my hands allow, because they're, they're small, I want to see what I can get up out of here from here. Wow, I'm hungry. This is not the right type of hunger to have right now. Jeez, Louise. Dharma, I'm hungry. What are we going to do? What, what are we going to do, Dharma? I am hungry. Do you know what we're going to do? Because I don't know. I know you ate already. You ate your cat food. You just want to relax right now. I am so proud of you. You're just sitting here all nice and peaceful through this reading and not doing spoiled Dharma stuff. <laughs> this is just beautiful. I love it. See, she's still just sitting there. Can y'all see her? See her little head moving. Wait. Wait, is that her? Can you see her? I don't know if you can see her, but she right here. All right, angels. Holy Spirit. Can you send me a card for the situation, please? Can you send me a card for the situation, please? Oh, the card flew right at Dharma. <laughs> that is so funny. Okay, so the weird part about one of these cards is separation. Uh, but the separation, how can I show how it came out? It came out like this. Okay. It said time, it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay. And then we have you attract romance, 
romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. But that's in reverse. And that's on the bottom of the deck. So for the thing letting go, some the, the some of you are really contemplating walking away period and some of you are needing to heal from some things and you need time alone to yourself okay you just need that time to yourself to heal so That's why it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Because some of you are really needing that time to just heal. It may be there's things that went sideways or left in his connection. And you're just needing to heal. Whether it be the divine femme or the mask. This healing for both of you is about yourself. There's just some time you need to nurture your own self so that you could properly know how to nurture each other. That's why the attraction card is at the bottom in reverse because you're needing to like get more in touch with yourself here. You're needing to get more in touch with yourself and become more aware of some things you have going on so that you can fully be in the moment with your soulmate when it's time for this to get, you know, when it's time for this to come together. This is inner child work. This is inner child work. And the divine wants you to focus fully on that right now. They don't want you to focus so much on your connection, your relationship. They want you to focus more on just healing yourself. Healing yourself and um, vibrating higher and get into those ugly, uncomfortable things that um, bring you pain inside. That raises your vibration spiritually. Okay. And that's what the divine wants you to mostly focus on. They want you to focus on raising your vibrate your vibration spiritually instead of focusing more on this connection. Because you don't wanna you guys don't wanna get into a union and you're both still dealing with some really heavy things inside and two people coming together with two different types of wounds and death and haven't dealt with them or not aware of them yet and trying to work in a partnership you know you can unnecessarily invite low vibrational energies within that partnership within that divine union because you're un self-aware of the things that you have going on inside and if you're in a partnership and you both are self unself aware of you know deeper wounds, then you also could bring those deeper wounds to into your connection, which will cause a discord, which will cause disharmony, and you'll unknowingly and unintentionally be thinking that you two are not the same match, vibrational match, which that's not the truth well if you're not working on yourselves you know you're not going to be the same vibrational match because if one person is doing more work on themselves than the other then one person is going to be vibrating at a different level than the other when in true essence you know with your twin flame in the spiritual sense um in the spiritual sense 
in the spiritual world, you're already in union because you are already vibrating and um, elevating and have elevated to a vibrational match for each other. But on this material plane, you haven't done that yet. That's the whole purpose of the connection. You're supposed to learn how to, you're supposed to pull that from above and learn how to bring that here. That's the purpose. You're supposed to learn how to be a vibrational match here. Because some twin flame unions are destined to come together. Not all, but some. And this one is. That's why they, That's why this is happening. Okay? It's happening so that you two can become more aware of yourselves. So that you can be better for each other. We started this reading out right away in regards to love. So they are serious. That's why they did it right away because they're serious about this connection. Some, sometimes when I do readings, you know, it starts out different. And then I notice there's some love placed in there. And I'm like, okay, this is something in regards to Twin Flames. And every time I, I, I catch, I, I hear myself like, oh my goodness, another Twin Flame reading. You know, so yeah, some of you are supposed to come into union because when I remove the card that's at the bottom of deck, you you attract romantic love by fully enjoying this moment. The wedding card was also at the bottom of that deck under that, and that's that's under that in reverse because this this needs to transpire. There's some things that need to play out. In this connection first before you even get to that step okay it was also family healing family issues here too so this connection also has something to do with um a divine fems or mass you have some um some some family issues that you need to take care of which was that's the divine's way of confirming what i was saying like there are some inner child issues, but it's a little more deeper than just those inner child issues. It's some of you have just like controlling parents and, and manipulative parents and parents that try to like, they're too involved in your life and they're living through you. I'm hearing. You have those issues. You're needing to set some healthy boundaries, okay? You're needing to help set some healthy boundaries because it while you're working on yourselves and God is preparing you for this union, if you don't set those healthy boundaries with your parents now, okay, and get some things established now, if you if you are already aware that you need to heal some things and then your divine fem or vice versa needs to heal some things within yourselves, if you guys have to come to a mature point in your lives and in your mental and in your emotional well-being and you can come and say that and be honest about it with yourselves and we with each other then you ought to know that that healing is going to continue even after the divine decides that a applicable applicable amount of healing or truth uh within oneself has taken place and then the divine will decide okay they're ready to at least uh, get back in harmony and work through these things together now okay because there are stages and processes to this so once you do get to that point where at least now you're able to come back into harmony and work through these things together you're still and that takes a lot of again emotional maturity spiritual maturity and mental maturity okay you're able to get to a place now where you could coexist and support and be there for each other which is what the divine would like to see okay so that is still going to be challenging and work it doesn't have to be negative um a negative challenge it can be a positive challenge it just depends on the two and how they choose to create the dynamic in the situation but if you do that and you don't deal with those family issues and set those boundaries that need to be set. It's going to cause discord between you and your divine femme, divine mask, or vice versa. And once again, you're already, okay, once you get past this cycle, you already have, you're already going to get to a point where, again, 
the dis the disharmony is going to end and all of that's going to end you're going to you're going to get to a healthy place where now you can amicably still have disagreements and and, and understand that's just life and uh still respect each other's perspectives but you can still support and harmonize with one another while you're doing that you can't afford to have any outside influences okay that's why the divine is saying fa healing family issues okay all right um uh, something tells me they're getting ready to send me a card to confirm something all right So the divine is actually creating this separation or um, whatever happened between you two either, anyway. Either, regardless if it was the, the divine mass who created his own karma and, you know, this happened the way it happened. Regardless of, you know, who did what. The, the bigger picture of this, this is um, intentionally, was divinely intentionally done so that it could get to this point so that you can heal now if depending on whoever divine femme or mass if at that moment whomever you know this how do i say this whichever person did not whether it was the divine femme or the mass in that present moment didn't choose to make a certain decision um that would have been healthy for the both of you this is the outcome of that but it still was divinely guided it still was divinely done intentionally because you can always change the energy in your present moments that's why that's why they put this card here you attract romantic love by and truly drawing this moment because in your present moments even when you have a disagreement with your partner no matter how bad it gets no matter how worse was said no matter what hurt was done in present moments is when things transform. When you have the maturity and the spiritual strength and the emotional maturity and the mental maturity and strength, okay, all of those, to in that present moment change the situation. Because energy shifts just like that. You don't have to wait a month or two weeks for the energy to shift. You can do it in that moment. It's just about the people. But one person can't do it themselves. It takes two. So if there's one person energetically doing it themselves and the divine sees that, but the other person is not trying to, okay? Because nine times out of 10, if that person tries to heal something in a present moment, that means that the divine spoke to one one of the parties and said, hey, go, go, hey, go try to do this. And if the other party refuses or rejects, then that particular person has to deal with their karma on their own okay because you don't disobey divine guidance it's it's done intentionally in present moments so that a transformation can happen so that you can see something so that you can learn something and if you resist the change and the transformation the divine usually takes you on some type of like time out for creating and that karma that you created in that time out, you start to see what you did. Versus if in that present moment, you would have taken care, care of it in that present moment, things would have changed. Things wouldn't have came out the way that they did. But when you create something, when you create a situation and you create an outcome, you have to now deal with that. But the divine is not going to allow you to deal with it in this union because that other person didn't disobey rather it been the fem or the mass that other person actually obeyed the divine guidance so the divine is not going to punish that person you just get set aside but for god's protection god will jump in and separate this the divine will separate this while that person works on that person and then this person gets worked on whatever they got going on but usually depending on who decided to be more 
mature about the situation, you know, spiritually, their work ends up leveling up to another vibration versus being stuck in that same situation, you know, stuck in the same mental place, stuck in the same emotional place. They usually level up because in that present moment, that's the, where that groom for growth and transformation comes in. That's why the divine sends that challenge to the person. You know, y'all could have said some real horrible stuff. That person might not want to reach out to that person, but they know in that present moment is where the growth comes from. So they're willing to put that aside. Okay. Regardless of what was said or done. And obey the, 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 the guidance because in that moment, now, if someone says something to hurt your soul, but you can move past that and still try to mend it, that's you in that present moment taking that action to actually do something. So now, yeah, you have grown. Yeah, you have grown because you have actually you have actually taken the action. You have you have actually done what was said, and not only have you done what was said which the divine comes in and gives you that strength, you have done it for yourself. So that amplifies it. So now you're allowed to move forward. Now you're need, now you're allowed to grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, in other areas now, okay? That's why the divine does that. <clears throat> because you've proven yourself. And it's not to prove yourself where, okay, I'm just going to do this and listen to what's being said and then I'm going to revert back to myself. It don't work like that. It don't work like that either. Because if you revert back to yourself, you're already hurting yourself. And the divine only does it when they know that you're ready. Or sometimes they do test you, depending on who you are. And they usually test those like that that are manipulative so that they can see themselves. <laughs> but those who really want to grow... That's what the outcome ends up being. But those are just, just trying to call themselves manipulating or putting one over on God. That's not, that you, that doesn't work. All they do is just reflect it back to you and show you just how manipulative you are. And you got an option to see it for what it is or ignore it and act like that's not what it is. You're still just going to be stuck. Because even you know how manipulating you are if you, you manipulate things. You know it. So if God is trying to, if God is, the divine is one, a God, divine, whatever you want to call, um, trying to show it to you in your face to help you grow, guess on you if you will uh, reject and resist it, okay? Okay, the thinking man. It's about the divine mass. So right now, the divine mass is contemplating and thinking about some of the things that they did. They're like going back and reviewing things they said. They're like going back and reviewing actions that they took. This is, this is, they're like going back and <laughs> replaying and looking at text messages and, and replaying things in their head and replaying scenarios in their head and trying to figure out what it is exactly that they say or what they did and how they said it like they're they're just going through it okay they're going through it yeah they're 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 they're, <laughs> they're confirming what i'm saying um they're replaying events over in their head because now see that can you see it and this was before these popped out. I was saying that because this thinking man popped out first and then they confirmed it. They're like, because whoever this was, whatever he did or said, he just knew his ego. This person has a big ego. Okay. He just knew that he was right. And his way of, of handling the situation was right. And he did the right thing. And it's all your fault. And this is on you. He basically sabotaged himself, okay? And it, it's coming out now to him. It probably started to hit him yesterday, okay? It probably started to hit him yesterday in that Leo full moon. That's why I was asked to guide it to deliver the message about feeling your feelings, feeling your feelings and feel them fully. 
He's thinking about the way he's been raised. He's thinking about the conditioning that he has been taught. He's thinking about... Oh, my God. Dharma. I'm sorry, y'all. She got to go now. She was doing so fine. You see that? You see? This is this is that. I'm glad she did that. This is why she get put out. This is why I can't let her be in here. Because that's what she do. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But he's thinking about... He's thinking about the way his father handled situations and how he spoke to his mother. Okay? He's thinking about all of that. He's thinking about how that impacted him as a boy. How that impacted him as a boy to a teenager and his relationships when he was a teenager. Even his little small crushes when he was in elementary school and in kindergarten and how he responded to little girls. He's thinking about all that. He's going back, like, deep. Okay? He's going back to, like, college years and college days when he was dating. He's going back to, like, when he was in his 30s dating. He's thinking about all that. He's going in. Okay? And he's, he's, he's looking at himself, and he's going, wow. I've, he's, like, basically, and that's a good thing. He's basically taking responsibility. He's like, wow, I, I sabotaged myself. It's my fault that these things have taken place the way they have because I could have done things differently. He's he's finally learning to take accountability and 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 look at the part that he's played in the situation. Okay? Which is all the divine wanted. Though though that's the action he's taking for himself. He's finally learning how to show himself self-love. Okay? He's finally learning how to show himself self-love because they had Dragonfly at the bottom of this deck which shows transformation and healing. It says, be lighthearted, finding out things come into light, adapt, change, heal. I don't know if you can see that. So those are the action. That is the action that he's taking right now. And it's funny how they confirm this because... Um, when I was speaking earlier and I was speaking about the divine mass or the fem or whom, whomever in the connection, you know, ignore divine guidance, they're basically confirming that it was the mass in this situation. The energies I'm picking up, it was the divine mass who ignored the divine guidance that was told to him to heal this connection, to bring, to help this connection grow. It was a divine mass that this whole time he allowed his ego to get in his own way. And he allowed it because for whatever reason, this person was so egotistical. He thought that the actions that he were taking against his divine femme was hurting her. He didn't realize he was hurting himself because this was done to help him grow and be better spiritually and as just to grow up because He's still operating out of like a teenager. Somewhere along in this in, in this divine master's life, somewhere his growth was stunted and he stopped right there. And he's been operating at that age this whole time is what I'm hearing. He hasn't grown because he's so egotistical and he's been so, and I hate to say this, but he's been so manipulating that Whatever age he started to really learn how to manipulate and try to control people, for some reason, he saw that as a getaway. Like, he saw that as like a, oh, this works. I'm going to keep doing this like this. Until one day, somebody came in his world, and they that started to fall apart. And he started to see himself. And I believe it was his divine femme. Because, again, this is divinely guided. And usually your twin flame comes in when it's time for you to grow. When God when God usually guides the two together to meet when it's the time, when it's the right time. And it was his a right time to awaken. Okay? I'm going to get a card for the outcome, y'all. And we're going to wrap it on up. We're going to wrap it on up. 
she the divine sent her right on in there to make him aware of stuff okay i'm gonna get another card uh, do i want to do i kind of do want to do this I'm going to do my empathic deck because this is about feeling. Okay. So I'm going to pull that out. So if this divine mass allows and doesn't try to control this time right now, that's being allotted for both parties to heal. Okay. The divine is offering a new beginning. And also the divine says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So that's the divine's way of saying, like, listen, you two are meant together. And basically this going back and forth, this conflict, when you because remember earlier in this reading i said you're already in union spiritually okay this is divine saying when you leave here the both of you because you just never know we never know we we saw a lot in 2020 when you go back when your soul goes back to the creed the owner you're going to see yourself and you're going to see you know just what just what you did when you were down here on your assignment. You're going to see. And you got to be able to take that. You got to be able to take a kind. Con- You're not going to be able to, to leave here and, and blame nobody else. It doesn't work like that in the spirit world. They have ways of making you take full accountability without you even being able to open your mouth. You just start breaking down crying <laughs> because you, you'll just start to know it already. And that's God's way. That's the divine's way of speaking to this mask and this film. But more so, I'm feeling it more to the mask because he's been so stubborn and controlling. The, the divine doesn't want you to have to go with it like that. Like, they don't want you to have to suffer that way. They'd rather you just deal with this right now. That's, that's the divine's message to the divine mask, okay? Because you're not going to be able to blame nobody when it gets to that point nobody you're only gonna have to look at yourself so they're just basically telling you right now before it ever gets to that point to just deal with this and stop running from it and stop blaming everybody else yep light at the end of the tunnel is how they ended it wow wow <laughs> Basically, there's some darkness that this that you're dealing with. The both of you, but more so this divine mass. And I hate to say it like that, like I'm just picking on this person or like I'm just putting it all on this. But I have to say it this way because this is this is the message that they're putting out there for a reason. OK, and they're doing this for a reason because unfortunately, this divine mass does blame other people. So that's why it's kind of like they're being put on the spot on purpose, intentionally, so that they can get the message in their heads that, hey, hey, it's not other people, it's you. And the divine loves all their children. God loves children. Us, adults, we're still God's children. So they're not going to be... Um, extra gentle on you when you're rightfully deceiving yourself. They're going to tell you the truth about yourself so that you can wake up. No parent is going to allow a kid, their kid to lie to themselves. If they want their kids to be better and bright, they're going to tell you the truth. Tough love. And this, what this divine mass doesn't realize is that he he created this tough love on himself because he's tough on himself and others. So it's just 
once again that reflection that mirror being reflected back to you but this time it's from the divine and when the divine reflects that mirror back to you sometimes if you are not humble enough to accept it and if you are not humble enough to see what's going on and open your eyes it's gonna it's gonna be tough for you that's why you have you see how you have all these dark clouds here but you see that light poking through this is what the divine is saying to you symbolically symbolically it's only tough on you because you created it if you lighten up a little if you lighten up on your heart if you lighten up on your grip and stop being so controlling and trying to control everything and everybody around you even yourself trying to control your feelings lying to yourself deceiving yourself deceiving other people if you lighten up on all of that and really want to heal all of that that's what's waiting for you that light well guys this has been a great reading a beautiful reading dama made her cameo appearance walking through the camera i hope y'all enjoy her <laughs> but i want you guys to have a great day and I want you to take it easy on yourself. And the best way to take it easy on yourself is to be truthful with yourself, okay? That's the main way to take it easy on yourself. I'm going to get out of here. I love you all. Peace, love, and light. And deuce it up.